Hey everyone, so I wanted to go through my talents very quickly just to show you guys the important talents that you really need if you want to be a Fury prot, okay? So as you can see, I've pretty much gone all the way through the Fury tree here and it's pretty basic stuff. You've got your 5% melee, increased crit, which is pretty amazing to be honest. 40% um, chance to generate extra rage point with, um, with a weapon. Uh, again, this is so important. Um, you've got your piercing how now honestly piercing how is just fantastic for tanking because you can slow all the enemies down around you okay if any um, enemies run off for example because you know someone else has aggroed them then again piercing how will mean there's a 50% reduction in their speed for six seconds we've got improved battle shout which again I believe generates more threat than your bat standard battle shout 25 percent extra battle shout effect is absolutely massive um three points in dual wielding now i don't always dual wield but actually sometimes it's really useful if you do dual wield just to do a bit more damage there three points seem to do me okay um your rage which gives you 25 percent melee damage bonus for 12 seconds up to a maximum of 12 swings after being a victim of a critical strike Again, this ability is slightly counterintuitive because as a, well, as a warrior, you don't really want to be critted at all. And the higher your defense is, the less you will be critted. But nevertheless, when you are um, critted, this is um, very, very nice. So yeah, you've got Death Witch, Wish, which again is really vital for um, Fury tanking because it means that um, not only will your physical damage go up by 20%, and it makes you immune to fear effects. And believe me, you'll be feared quite a lot. Um, so actually, this um, this death wish is um, really useful just for getting out of fear. But it um, also lowers your armor by 20%. So again, if you're under heavy attack, you may not want to use this. But if you want a little extra 20% um, increase in threat generation, then this is great. And, you know, bear in mind with your extra threat modification... Um, this will probably go up to, um, well, it'll be significantly more than 20% increased threat. We've got um, Flurry, which increases your attack speed by 30% for the next three swings after dealing a melee critical strike. Okay, now this, again, is brilliant, right? Because it means you're going to basically increase your um, threat generation significantly, and you're going to swing a lot more. Honestly, this is just um, a great talent for... Um, generating a heck of a lot of threat. You've also got Bloodthirst, which actually does a surprising amount of threat for two reasons. So, instantly attacks the target, causing damage equal to 45% of your attack power. In addition, the next five successful melee attacks will restore 10 health. And this, will last, this effect lasts 10 seconds. Now, bear in mind that um, everything you do, so, for example, when you gain Rage which you'll gain quite a lot of Rage as Fury, you'll generate threat, okay? When you heal yourself or someone else, you'll generate threat, although the threat will be divided by two. But then bear in mind, with the um, increased threat generation when you're in defensive stance, um, the 10 healing effect, you know, just kind of adds um, a little bit extra threat to you. And generally speaking, Blood First does do quite a lot of threat, so... You know, if, if you're sort of looking to do quite a lot of threat and hold the enemy, then this is really um, a pretty good setup. And, okay, um, the protection talents here are probably just as important, but actually way more important. So, five points in shield specification, okay? As um, a Fury prop, right, you really want to be doing dual-handed when you, where you can. And uh, dual-handed is um, really cool, you know, because you hit a lot more often... Um, you generate a really nice kind of continuous amount of threat, right? Um, in your left hand, you want um, a fairly slow weapon, which um, which is really good. But in your right hand, you want a fast weapon, okay? A again, this we um, you know, perfect for sort of threat control and whatnot. Although, bear in mind, um, without your shield, you'll take significantly more damage. So anyway, you will need a shield still for tanking, unless you're sort of... You've got uber amazing armor, but uh, yeah, generally um, you need five points in shield specialization here. So it increases your chance to block attacks with a shield by 5% and has 100% chance um, to generate one rage when a block occurs. 
So again, blocking is um, massive and it's also incredibly important if you um, want to do some like really serious tanking in um, in a big raid or something. Um, and you only want one point in improved shield block here. So allows your shield block ability to block an additional attack and increases the duration point by 0 0.5. So, okay, only one point here because two points is completely pointless. Doesn't really do anything apart from increases the duration, which who cares about that anyway. To be honest, I've got three points in toughness, right? Which gives me a 6% armor boost. It would be nice if I actually had five points in here. But, you know, heck, um, I've only got three points. But nevertheless, um, this is um, still pretty important, you know. Although, to be honest, um, your items are still by far the most important thing. Okay, so you're basically losing 4% um, armor value. So you're going to take slightly more damage, but it's not actually that significant. Especially if you've got um, Defiance increases threat generated by your attacks by 15% whilst in defensive stance. So, again, this is absolutely mandatory if you want to tank, right? Because you really need that extra 15% 15, 15 um, threat. Uh, okay, let's go for Im Improved Blood Rage, um, which increases the, um, the instant rage generated by your Blood Rage ability by 5 points. So, Blood Rage is obviously a good way of getting a lot of... Um, a lot more um, rage... But, um, to be honest, this is a really good one that we need. Um, last Stand. So, when activated, this ability temporary, pre temporarily grants you 30% of your maximum hit points for 20 seconds. After you, you expect, after the effect expires, the hit points are lost. So, I can't tell you how many times this has sort of saved my life. Um, especially if, um, I don't know, if the um, healer um, is busy doing something else or... Um, you're taking a lot of damage then you know an increase of 30 percent right is is absolutely huge so that's kind of why i put some um, three points here and i could have put an extra two points in here to be honest and had another point to spend down here or something but um no honestly um i i just really enjoy last stand okay and also i haven't looked into this but i should imagine increasing your maximum hit points by 20 percent would actually generate some threat though don't quote me on that but heck i'm just speaking off the top of my head uh improved thunder armor reduces the cost of your um thunder armor ability by three points so again as any kind of um as any kind of tank right thunder armor generates quite a lot of um, threat and you also if you're um, tanking um, an enemy or something and you know it's like a big boss or something you really want to bring him down as quickly as possible um, and Sunder Armour is absolutely vital for this and actually the um, three point rage reduction is quite a lot um, if you cast it three times that's um, well that's obviously nine points um, of, of rage that you've kind of saved that you can use for something else. Um, but it also means that you can apply um, Sunder Armor far more quickly than you otherwise could. And um, I got a question. Why don't I just um, go for pure protection? Now, I could obviously go pure protection and I have in the past, but there are quite a few advantages to Fury like I've just covered. So for one, the piercing howl is brilliant um secondly your rage generation is going to be probably quite a bit higher with fury and um you've you've got quite a few different procs and stuff so over the duration of a longer battle um you'll sort of have a real advantage if you want to um basically generate more sort of rage more damage um it's also quite frankly a lot more fun in pvp um to be fury right um than it is to be pure protection because um protection's kind of great but you know there's so many cool things um here so for, for example your um blood first if you've got a decent weapon your blood first can actually generate a lot of uh, damage to the enemy too uh which you know is obviously great um your five percent crit chance again crits don't do any bonus um threat ge threat generation to the enemy but what they well obviously um if you're going to do more damage because you've crit then it's going to um do extra 
it's going to generate extra threat anyway. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick explanation, and I really hope that you guys enjoy the video here. So, thank you very much, and uh, that's my silent build.